Irrigation and water management data was monitored and recorded from six fields in 2018 and 2019 as part of on-farm row rice research trials. Soil types for all locations were peri or sharky clays, which are very similar in percent clay, organic matter, infiltration rates, and water holding capacity, and are the predominant soil types for rice production in northeast Louisiana. Every furrow received water by polypipe on row widths of 30, 38, and 76 inches, with average irrigation frequency of being 5.2 days. Average inches of water pumped for growing season was 24.52 inches of water with a low of 21.21 inches and a high of 29.7 inches. Conclusions that were drawn from the data suggest that all nitrogen applications should be immediately followed by an irrigation to ensure incorporation of nitrogen to reduce potential nitrogen losses. The approximate five-day irrigation frequency in conjunction with nitrogen applications kept rice growing as well as residual herbicides activated through canopy closure. As rice approaches green ring, which is the transition from vegetative to reproductive stages, water demand by the plant increases and it is critical to maintain frequency of irrigations. Good yields were achieved by maintaining an irrigation frequency of five days throughout the growing season. Two locations had irrigation frequency that averaged three and a half to four days throughout the growing season and achieved good yields. One location had frequency of 10 days during the vegetative stage, reduced to every five days as rice approached green ring with good yields. Results of the fields that retained water versus not retaining water will be addressed next week. Mm -hmm.